Today, I'm going to review this DeWalt Cyclone Separator on this mess here, that mess right there, generally the whole shop, and I'm going to use this old but very powerful vacuum. <music> Before I hook everything up, I'm going to change to a brand new bag and I'm going to clean out the secondary filter, which is right in here. This is a two-stage unit used for drywall and I know this is going to do a really good job of sucking, but it remains to be seen if this will do a good job at separating. This box is a little bit faded because I've had this sitting around for 10 months now. I want to use this in conjunction with that same vacuum on my miter saw, which is one of the sloppiest tools. I consider it the most sloppy tool in a wood shop. And I'm hoping that I can come up with a system to make that a lot cleaner. Looks nice. I saw a single review on Amazon where this container was all dented up, but there doesn't appear to be any problems with this. All right, that is so cool looking. Tiny little cyclone. All right, we'll set this aside. Really cheap hose. Kind of disappointing. And an open box. I guess you could say they're okay wheels. This looks really cheap. This is going to be stationary underneath a bench and hooked up to the miter saw, so the wheels aren't a big thing. Well, these aren't that bad. The wheels themselves are soft polyurethane, but this is that real fragile plastic. All right, let's get this assembled real quick and we'll test it out. I wonder what that is. These are pretty simple. We have a set of screws that go into the plastic there, and then these just slide in. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I figured out what this thing is. That's a ground strap. Interesting. I guess that's just because it's a cyclone. And it's going to build up a lot of static electricity. Interesting though. Seems like that would get damaged pretty easy, but in my case, it's not. This thing is, well, this concept is very tall. I got this instead of the Dust Deputy from Oneida because this had better reviews. But hopefully it's not too tall for my setup, but that doesn't concern you. For now, we'll just see how well this works.
Okay, this is the vacuum cleaner. I cleaned out the inside and I'm about to put a new bag in. I'm putting that one back in when I'm done because it's not full yet. And this secondary cleaner, it has a little bit of mildew on the fins, but I went out and got these real nice and clean. So, it's not going to be the color on that. It's going to be whether it has a whole bunch of real fine stuff caked on there. So, let me get this on there and see if we have... A way to adapt this hose to the top there I picked up this stuff here just in case got a couple adapters and a couple hoses we'll get this thing hooked up one way or the other I got duct tape too so let's get this hooked up and start cleaning this mess another thing I thought of is this pile right here is probably more than that's going to take so i'll have to stop at some point and check this and make sure that it's not full if it gets over full all it's going to do is go right through here up and into the vacuum and we don't want that i want to get this full and then see what's in the vacuum see how much of it made it through to the vacuum we'll look in the bag and look on the filter and we'll look in the bottom of here i'm glad i got those adapters i found one that fits on the end of the hose here with duct tape and then this other end fits nice and snug down into here. So that'll work. Let's get this plugged in and see how it works. Oh, it's sucking up over here. I was wondering why it was making noise. This has all different sizes of dust between good sized chips and real fine powder. So this should be able to put it through a decent test. Okay. I got this fairly big area completely cleaned up. It was all from routing. So there was actually some dust in there and some big chips, as you've seen. I just want to check this and make sure that we're not too full. Oh, barely any. Yeah, that makes me wonder if any is getting through over to there but we'll find out in a minute i'm gonna keep going and when i'm i don't know most of the way done with that pile right there that should have this thing full i wonder if i can watch for it to come up into here i don't know we'll give it a shot though we'll attack that and try to get this thing full and once it's full, then we'll check the vacuum cleaner and see what made it through. Okay, that's it. I could hear a difference in the sound. 
and that's how I knew that it was full. I don't know if any was getting through into the hose here because I was sucking up so much at a time. I'm never going to be doing that in real life, but I don't know. People who buy this may be doing that. I just don't know. Okay. Let's see what happened in here. Well, the bag is puffed up, but that's because it has air in it. There is, oh, just a tiny bit of coarse stuff. This little blob right here. And that could have happened at the very end when it got full. Or that could have happened one of the times I kind of let the hose get away from me and it went right into the pile and it just sucked up way too much so it it might have overpowered this little cyclone nothing in here i don't expect there to be anything in this fine filter no that's clean which is a good thing so in normal use this is going to work out just fine I'm going to guess that I won't get anything in the bag during normal use because what it's going to do, I'm going to chop with the saw, do a chop, and that's the only thing that's going to go in here. That little bit is just a half a second in that pile right there. So it'll just go around and down, and I don't think anything is going to make it over into the shop vac itself. Yeah, I probably won't even need a bag in use. So when I hook this thing up to my miter saw, I'm gonna semi build it in underneath the counter up against that wall, and then the miter saw will be on a table, and I'll use PVC ducting or PVC pipe to do most of the connections. Yeah, this is gonna work out really well. And with this on hand, I'll be able to get some nice dimensions off of it. So, it's a bit cheaper than I thought it was gonna be. Really thin metal, thin plastic, or fairly thin plastic. The wheels aren't all that great. They're nowhere near as good as the wheels on this, but this is pushing 30 years ago, back when they used to make stuff better. But other than that, I guess I'm pretty satisfied with this. I like the amount that it holds. In usage, that would be, I don't know, that could be a year's worth of usage before this thing fills up and needs to be emptied. Like I said, it's just going to be on the miter saw. So it's going to have this plus a connection. The duct work is going to go up to the ceiling over there. And the end of the run will be at the miter saw. So it's going to have a 5-inch duct in back. And this hooked up to the machine with a nice rubber catch that goes around the blade. So... Between the two of them, it should catch basically everything that that saw puts out. Good, good, good. So, I guess I give it, oh, I would say four out of five stars. This little plastic cyclone is more durable than I thought it was going to be. The rest of it, not so much. And this hose is terrible. That's a garbage hose. Luckily, I won't be using that. Good, good, good. If you're new to the channel, I'm about a quarter of the way done 
with my wood shop build. I'm doing electric right now. The next thing I'm doing is hooking up the compressor and we're gonna have compressor lines going all the way around the room. We're gonna be hooking up AC. We got heat hooked up. A lot of projects here, so if you wanna see any of that, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.